Hey guys, I'm. Uh, this is Matt here in Dutch Harbor again. I'm about to fly over to Accutan. I thought oh, it'd be kind of cool to to see uh, the the plane that takes you over to Accutan and Accutan Village. Maybe we'll even get some nice aerial shots of uh, Dutch Harbor. It's just a gor gorgeous, gorgeous day. It's uh, April 25th, I think, and it's a Monday, and it's just gorgeous, man. You got to check it out here. It's just nothing but blue skies and white mountains what a great day so I'm here at the Dutch Harbor Airport and uh, I'm gonna be flying in the uh, Grum and Goose over there this will be the plane I'll be taking over to Accutan it's got uh, some pontoons on it so I'll be landing in the water uh, it's only like a 15 to 20 minute flight but uh, it's great. There's a, a lot of great views.
So we made it here and uh, downloading the goose and uh, let's go check some stuff out. So the I was supposed to get out, get back to Dutch today. Well, hopefully I'll be able to make it. The plane's on weather hold. I've only been gone for maybe an hour since uh, I last recorded and it's immediately overcast and uh, it's snowing in Dutch Harbor so the the plane the Grumman Goose can't fly over here but gives us a chance to show you more Accutan and uh, what it looks like here it's just gorgeous I love this community too now we're on the community side and it's just all boardwalks that you walk on um, everybody's, a couple of people got the four-wheelers going there's only a couple handful of vehicles in town and that's just to drive between the airport and the Trident Seafoods plant um, but check out how cool this place is A lot of the houses in town. So quiet. I'm about to the edge of the town. You can actually see it over there in the distance. I just arrived uh, right when I started talking to the town and I will go over here. That's the last house. So that's Accutan, and uh, I'll show you more if I can find something cool. Talk to you later. Tan is the uh, the church here and it's it's pretty big because of what they got going on inside for the community this church as I understand it was a uh, 
part of uh, the Trident facility. Hey, what's up? The church was something that the Trident facility uh, owner wanted to put in the community so that the people had something to do uh, outside of uh, working for the company and processing fish. So this whole half of the church is a huge gymnasium. There's a weight set in there. Um, and then on this side is where the, uh, the pastor and his wife live full time, just uh, helping out the community. Um, let's go check it out. Let's go look and see how the church looks like on the inside. Take off my shoes. And immediately, yeah, we have this wonderful uh, church area. And then there's a, a place for people to sew and quilt. Um, what a fun project center. Looks like somebody's working on a quilt right now. Um, and then uh, just the different friends that they've had. See if we can get good shots of this. Just great. To all the people in the community. Really cool. Great fan painting. Yeah, I can already hear them. Sounds like there's some people in there playing something. Yeah, and up there in the top, you can see that that's where the weight area is. Very cool, though. Really great facility. And uh, I've seen a lot of fishermen off boats when their boats are done offloading, actually coming over here as a crew, getting to play a game of basketball uh, or playing ping pong against each other. It's a great facility. So there you have it. This is the um, Akutan Church and uh, the facilities that they got here. Um, I know some of you watching this have been here, so it'll be cool for you guys to see this. <laughs> so you're looking at my dessert. Um, had a good meal. Now it's time for some uh, blueberry pie. And I'm here at the uh, Trident plant, and I'm in the galley. And they got some good food, had a good meal, but uh, this is what the galley looks like. I do, all the time. You wanna say hi, B? Yeah? Interviewing is dessert in my Yeah. Hi, B. This is B. We'll say hi. Hello, I'm Gary. This is Margo. Hi, I'm Margo. And Matt is photographing his food and talking to his dessert. That's right, that's all I do. Hey guys, I just uh, spoke to the office, and since I missed my flight, I have the opportunity to come back on a boat. Now, the flight is only 20 to 30 minutes to get to Accutan. The boat's about a six hour ride. And I get seasick. I get a little, I don't get nauseous. I get tired, um, which is another symptom. I'm glad I don't get nauseous. I've actually, I think I've, I've, I've fallen asleep because I was starting to feel tired, starting to feel nauseous, and then I've, I've woken up nauseous and really hoped that I'd just go back to bed. Um, taking some Dramamine pills for the motion sickness. So, uh, we'll see how it goes. Looking forward to it. Something different. I've done it before, but it'll be fun to show you guys uh, jumping on a boat, taking a boat to Dutch from Accutan. Tons of people are doing it. Probably one of the primary modes of transportation for most people coming out here to Accutan is by boat. You can get a lot more people on it, and it's a guaranteed delivery. Whereas planes, they come and go. 
on the weather and uh, it can get pretty nasty really fast. As you saw earlier today, we had uh, sunny skies and then all of a sudden there was a flurry. So we'll see how it goes. So it's uh, four in the morning, hanging out in the break room, uh, just waiting to, like, they gave us some motion sickness, uh, Dramamine in a packet, everybody got some, I'm so glad. And uh, you can see the crew of everybody that's going to be uh, going on this boat ride back. Play cards? No. <laughs> that would actually be kind of fun. So I made it on the boat and uh, I think we got like, is it a four or six hours? Four, Maybe four hours. Four hours. Four hours. It's, so we got a four hour trip. It's 4.30 in the morning and uh, we're going to see how we feel. We're going to be kind of tired. Some people are sleeping on the ground. Uh, I'm probably going to get seasick, uh, but I'm going to try to sleep through it. So. Hey guys, well it's a little after 9 now, 
finally arrives in Dutch Harbor and uh, everybody's ready to get off the boat. Uh, it'll be nice to get back on land. Took a little nap, watched some uh, movies. Uh, it took about four hours, so uh, let's get off this boat. Let's uh, get back on to dry land. That's it guys, we made it back to Dutch Harbor and uh, we're here at the city dock. We got all the uh, people that just got off the boat. Um, it's another beautiful day actually. They got, uh, we got blue skies. To show you what we got here. So you can see, it's just gorgeous. We're at the, uh, the city dock, this is the crane, does a lot of the offloads. But uh, just a great day. So I think we're going to call this a wrap. Uh, it's been good. It's been fun showing you guys this fun trip, fun journey. Uh, next time I'm doing something, maybe going somewhere else, I'll do another video. Till then, uh, see you guys later.